just wanted to make a short little video about cordage and uh, I have my little pack here from my truck that it sits underneath my car seat it's really a little walk around thing almost like an EDC thing but it stays in my truck um, I do carry on me a little fold-out knife at all times it's in my pocket um, he says with confidence got to find it where did I put it oh here it is right there my little buck fold out nice little knife anyway um, I have that on me all the time and I have this little bag in my uh, truck underneath the seat and I have a couple of things in it it's not really an emergency pack it has the basics um, a hat a cloth uh, some some cordage uh, a bigger knife and uh, a little first aid kit that I made up myself uh, flashlight sorry flashlight <laughs> and I have this little gizmo in here as well which is just a little pull box and in here I have some matches, uh, fire uh, tinder, uh, fishing line, a couple of hooks. Um, it's just a little survival kit I put together that I throw in here. One day I'm actually going to see if I can catch a fish with it. <laughs> but I wanted to talk about cordage. Now this I have, um, I bought at Walmart and it's 550 cord but it's only rated at I believe I'm going to say 150 pounds. This is not something I'm going to hang my hammock with because it'll snap. And I did try it. I wanted to see if it would handle it. I even tried doubling it up and it snapped as soon as I sat in the hammock. Um, I do have heavier cord which is typically a, a, an olive color. It's thicker than this and it's rated at about 250, no 400 pounds. And that's what I use on my hammock and, and things like that. This it's just to put up my top and things like that so I wanted to show you the difference and uh, you can see how small this is and I carry it in there try not to cut your cordage just saying got to thinking about some stuff and I thought I would just talk about some things that I've blogged about the, the 10 C's of survival and sometimes I feel that as somebody who's looking at survival and things like that we tend to get carried away with how to survive when there's an emergency and uh, we forget you know there's all these things about strikers starting fires with a striker with a piece of wood um, how do put tinder and everything together and things like that but we seem to forget the simple things that we should be carrying before anything else it's nice to have a, a flint uh, starter fire starter that sort of thing but we forget about a box of matches just plain old kitchen matches um, I don't know carrying a lighter there's two things already that I'm pretty sure one of them will work in a worst-case scenario sure over a long period of time uh, maybe they won't survive basically what I'm saying is we get a little carried away and they are just simple cheap inexpensive things they can carry with you I do have a fire starter and a striker it's a fairly inexpensive one that I bought at uh, Walmart. It's one of the first ones I ever bought. And it worked. I didn't get in a situation that will be just fine. First of all, I'd go to the BIC. <laughs> because it just seems easier. And they got the mattress as well. But I just wanted to point that out. We tend to forget that. Then I was thinking about cover. You know, this was covered combustion. And then there was cover. You know, thinking about cover, um, if you watch my last video on my wet and windy camping, when I put that tent up, 
that got blown out. Um, I learned some things. And that is you can use sticks as a spike to get them anywhere. I used some pieces of wood as tent spikes which would have worked just fine if the ground hadn't been so wet. I didn't take that into account. And uh, what happened with all the wind and everything, it just pulled them out of the ground. So I should have used longer ones and I didn't. But I think in every other situation they would have been fine. The other thing I was thinking about is you might not have a top but you find something. You may find uh, an old top that doesn't have any holes to uh, tie your 550 cord to to set your cover up so I wanted to show you a quick trick that you can do when you don't have uh, holes in your top cutting holes in there is probably going to weaken it a lot and it'll probably tear when you put any kind of pressure on it I got my 550 cord and we were talking about not having holes in your top or you may need extra tie downs um, I don't have a top with me, but I have my microfiber cloth that I have in my bag here, and I have some 550 cord. And I want to show you, if you make a loop in your cord like this, it's a nice, simple, easy knot. Made the loop and made a little hooky like that. And uh, you can see I can pull it tight. So. You can do that with your 550. I've got my little loop here. And it's a slip knot. It can get bigger. Now you need to make a tie down on whatever you're using as your cover. We'll use this as an example. This is a corner I'm going to use. What you can do is instead of making a hole in the top which is going to weaken it and when it blows that's just going to tear unless you have a grommet or something in there it's probably going to tear what you can do is get a, a small rock i couldn't find a rock here believe it or not but found a stick and you put it in there like this on the corner get your loop put your loop over it pull it tight like that and now you can tie it down and it won't come off because of the the stick in there this won't pull out so you can do that on a corner and tie it down to something so that's something to remember um, like I said in a lot of my videos I hate making holes in things or uh, cutting my cord <laughs> I don't like to cut my 550 cord. This is the lighter one that I have because it's just in that little bag that I have in my truck. I have heavier. You can see how easy that came undone. I'll show you that again. Make a loop. Pull it through itself like that. And it's a slip knot, basically. So to undo it, you can just pull it apart. Um, I don't like to cut this unless I have to. And if you're going to cut it, cut it long lens. It's better to be too long than too short. And uh, the less cuts you have, if you have to join a whole bunch of 550 cord together, it's kind of painful. And uh, you don't want to do that. So keep your 550 cord or your whatever cordage you have with you. Try not to cut it or cut it as little as possible. You can actually make these up. Make up a couple of these. I have them in my emergency pack. I have some that are about three or four foot long and on one end you know I tie them off like this and burn off the ends here I don't know if you can see that um, I don't know how good it's coming out but and then you can make your little slip knots and uh, tie off your top or whatever shelter you found a blanket if you're going to use that that's a pretty good example right there anyway I thought I'd share that with you so there you go Another useless bit of information. <laughs> Later. First things that they discuss on the 10 C's list is a cutting tool. Now, if you go online, you can look there and they vary in range from $5 to 
$500, depending on what you want. Um, obviously, you want a cutting tool that's going to meet your needs. It's got to be strong enough to handle some abuse. Um, I have this in, in uh, my little bag here. And this is my uh, Calamus Titanium one that I got at Walmart, the first one I ever bought. It's actually a, a fishing knife. You can use it to gut fish, and it's pretty sharp. And it has a full tang on it, which is kind of important. If I batten this, put it on a log and batten it with another piece of wood, um, I can, it'll probably work, but it's very light. It doesn't have any strength. Um, the other knife I have in my emergency kit is uh, actually a browning. Uh, it's a little bit smaller than this. I like the handle on it. It's a lot heavier, has a full tang, and it's much stronger than this, and I can batten with that. But what I'm trying to tell you is that you don't have to worry about spending hundreds of dollars on a knife. You just want one that's going to do the job for you. Um, it's not something that has to last you the rest of your life. It's an emergency thing. Something that has to last you hopefully no longer than 72 hours. And I think this would work for me. And I think this cost me like 12 bucks. So there you go. Think about that. And, uh, you know, I'm, you don't have to spend a lot of money to have a good emergency kit. Adapt. Um, meet your budget. Don't overkill with your budget. You know, uh, don't feel that you can't put an emergency kit together because you don't have enough money. If you shop smart, you can find the things that will work for you that will help you get through a bad situation. Just saying. Later. And I made a little medical first aid kit. In it, I have some Bayer aspirin. Um, I have a big band-aid, a couple of small band-aids, and some mouthwash. I just put it in, but that's what I have in there. So, little medical aid kit for a walk around. What joy! The sun is coming up. Ta-da! Something else I did just for myself, and that is I made up some little cards to carry in my emergency packs. And where I got them from um, was on Pinterest. Uh, I found some pins that I liked, and here's one of the cards. I don't know if you can see that. It's actually um, a cordage rigging a top. And it's just a little thing, gives you an idea on how to do it. On the other side, um, let's see if I can hold it up so you can see. I don't know if you can see that. Um, it's building a fire, collecting tinder, uh, kindling, and fuel, and what sizes you should use for each. And you can see it's not a little, not very big. All I did was print it out the, the pins, size, size them so they'd be the same, and then just seal them. Uh, I don't know what you call this stuff that you put over. It's like a laminate. I put over the top. Punched a hole in it so I can tie them together. Hang in a, a hammock. Uh, this, I think, is probably for me the most important one. And that is how to uh, determine your direction you're moving in uh, without using a compass, using your watch, that sort of thing. Um, thing of knots and this thing to remind me every day <laughs> what it takes to survive by the way I just happen to have it in my little notebook that I keep in here so there you go something else you can put in your emergency pack enough nada let's go walk about <laughs> 